Before I go to Chris in Boston, Bob, I want to get your take on the fact that Apple is refusing cash for their iPad, saying it's for security reasons. So in order to buy one of these devices, you have to have a credit or debit card further you know, promoting this cashless society control grid. Of course. And the idea is don't buy their products. I'm with it's you 110%. Simple. And I, I am a big fan of Apple computers. Mm -hmm. But this we is just too to abhorrent. With. And I'll tell you, if that's the game they want to play, we'll play it. Don't anybody buy them. And maybe they might get the message. All right, let's go to our next caller, Chris in Boston. Chris, you're on the line. Hey, Jason, how are you? What's up? And by the way, folks, I just got this handed to me by uh, Rob Dew. Believe it or not, Apple changes its tune. It will now accept cash for the iPad at the Apple Store. So I guess the uprising of the past two or three days of us reporting on this has now caused really an incitement. And yes, now they are going to take cash. And that's the kind of thing we have to do. We have to force these people to take cash when they say no, because when they can turn down a legal tender, they can do just about anything they want. Go ahead. Chris. How you doing, Jason? First yeah. of all, thank you to you and Alex for all you guys do, and, and uh, all your movies, all, all, everything you guys are doing are, are, are great. Oh, thank you. Bob, how you doing? This is, this is Chris. I was on the uh, Ralph Evans show with you from Boston a couple weeks well, ago. Well, no, it's Watertown, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> basically Boston, right? So, and uh, the, maybe maybe Vermont next. Yeah, exactly. Too bad for uh, too bad for our Bruins, but who cares about sports anyway? Um, <laughs> yeah. My question, my question, Bob, that that uh, recently I've, I've uh, had a chance to uh, come up with some uh, some bonus money from work, and and initially I was thinking about buying some a gold coin or two, but but uh, when, when you think of everything going down, I mean, how much sense does it make to? to buy gold coins if it's going to collapse as bad, as bad as it seems. I mean, is, is silver Chris, better? where else are you going to go? Say that again? Where else are you going to go with your money that's safe? And let me say this, too, Bob. When I started listening to the Alex Jones program in 2003, really started to become awake in 2002, you could purchase an ounce of gold for under $300. We're talking about less than seven years ago, and I believe it's hovering around $1,200 right now. Even if it takes a hit and dips below 1000 it still has inherent value as a fiat currency never will bob absolutely go ahead chris yeah i i, I, I know i just i mean, I mean it's, it's just i agree with you i mean is it really well, the deal is chris you can wait and you can hedge your bets or you can invest in something that will have a value a month from now six months from now 12 months from now five years from now 10 years from now or we can sit here and nitpick and say well it might fall a little bit oh it might be manipulated the bottom line is it's a hard currency and it has an intrinsic value for thousands of years appreciate the call gotta jump george in uh connecticut i believe george you're on the line. So the sort of similar question, but not quite exactly the same. I'm, I'm uh, wondering, I mean, you can't put everything into gold bullion. Is there any fund that has a combination of bullion and uh, maybe uh, gold, uh, barrack gold or uh, gold mines and things like that? Uh, but, the, but I have a back-end question uh, mm -hmm. about that, uh, that uh, flash trading. How can we hit them with uh, with some sort of uh, RICO Act or something like this? Because this is criminal, and if, if they finally are being hit from all sides, maybe not just in this country, but in other countries with similar laws, maybe we can stop them doing this and then stop and stop this uh, stop them in the tracks, basically. But going back to my my original question is. Uh, is there anything busy beyond? Well, I would say this before before Bob answers the second part as as part of the original question, and maybe there's some other funds out there too. I say silver. You know, I yeah yeah. Midas also has gold in IRAs, but silver, for instance, you know, I can get the coin that says twenty dollars on it. That's an ounce. I can get the one that says ten dollars on it. That's half an ounce. That could be used in any kind of daily trading as a ten dollar bill, a twenty dollar bill. So have a few thousand in that, Bob. Well, uh, as far as the uh, SEC and their uh, non-execution uh, of the rules, it's simple. You file a class action federal suit. That leaves everything out. And when you have hundreds of thousands of people filing this suit, or maybe a, a multiplicity of suits, they have to answer. That's number one. That's the way to go after them, to stop them. And that's what happen, is happening to J.P. Morgan Chase right now. They're going after them, class action for rigging silver. As far as the fund is concerned, you don't have to do that. 
You buy gold and silver bullion and coins. If you want stocks, all you have to do is email me. I'll tell you what to buy. It doesn't cost you anything. And I've been doing this for over 50 years, and I used to be the largest gold silver stockbroker in the world. All right, let's go to our next caller, Don, in New York. Don, you're on the line. Hey, how are you? Good. Uh, two things, actually. Uh, first, um, I just wanted to make the example right off the uh, bat before my question. You know, I, um, I applied for a, uh, for a mortgage from J.P. Morgan Chase, and everything went through. Everything was fine. And uh, then they started getting into some very, very personal questions. They wanted to copy my divorce agreement. They asked me, you know, personal questions. And I said, you have, there's absolutely no bearing on my personal life, you know, what happened with my family or whatever mm -hmm. that has anything to do with the bank, you know, with a mortgage. And then, uh, and then I was denied. So, you know, I think they're crooks. But I don't know well, if that has data anything. collectors, and they don't want to make the loans. Yeah, well, that that's probably right. Uh, the question and the data, really... the data that they collect is being turned over to the United States government, and they get a dossier on you just like they have everybody else. Yeah, they're they're going crazy in my area too. With the with the, um, I actually I'm um, I live in a, a suburb of Manhattan, uh, in New Jersey, and they're going crazy with uh, the census too, like asking ridiculous questions. You know, even if you filled in the paperwork, oh, we just want to double check. You know, mm -hmm. and they're going door to door. Um, the uh, financial question I had for you was, um, you know, everybody, I understand uh, that gold is probably your best bet if you, can, uh, um, if you can get money together and invest in something. With uh, the devaluation of, of currency, um, how does that relate to people who have debt? You know, like if you own a mortgage and it devalues, what, what, is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? What, what can possibly happen? Well, it's a bad thing because logically you would say if you owe $100,000 and the dollar is devalued by two-thirds, and so you would only have to pay back $32,500 on a $100,000 loan. Well, the government is not interested in that. They're interested in breaking you. They want everybody financially and economically on their knees. So they're going to tell you, you're going to pay the old mortgage back. I don't know how you're going to do it, but do it. If you don't, we own your house. All right, let's take one more caller before the break. Eddie in New Hampshire, quickly. Hi. Bob, yes, sir. Jason? Yes. Hi, good afternoon. I just had a quick question. Bob, a couple of weeks ago I heard you mention that uh, you believe at some point that the stock market could go down as little as 2500 to 3000 I just want to twenty eight had... thirty two is the number, but that's close enough. Okay. Uh, if you had to guess, do you believe that decline is going to be gradual, or do you expect one major event that just said the plot? I, I think it'll be gradual because of the uh, ability of the United States government through the Working Group of Financial Markets to manipulate the market. We're going to come back and... after this. It's the Alex Jones Show final segment with Bob Chapman, Infowars.com, and streaming live at PrisonPlanet.tv. Thank you.